What's up everyone, I'm Be The Installer and I'm here with a very important video to let you guys know what the top TV deals are for the holiday shopping season. I got small inexpensive TVs, I got large expensive TVs, I got humongous ones. So stick around so we can talk about them in that order. And the good thing is all of the ones that I'm gonna recommend to you, I've either had or I'm absolutely happy with the current price that I'm gonna show you. So let's get into this. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe and all that. And this is a collaboration sponsored by Best buy. So if you check out those links and you end up buying a TV, it really supports the channel. So let's get into it. So you can just scroll down through all of these Best Buy deals and see all of the different TVs and how discounted they are. But the TVs that I'm gonna talk about specifically are ones that I would buy right now, no questions asked because of the quality and price points. And if the price gets better and better as the season goes on, of course, you're in good shape. Now the first TV that I wanted to talk about is the LG UQ75, this 50 inch for $349.99. And that is $60 off, but the price is already pretty low. And the reason I wanted to talk about this is because I had the 86 inch version in my home and checked it out. And to be honest, it's pretty good for such a low entry level price point. I was really happy with the OS and watching sports on this TV. Now, it's not gonna be your HDR movie watching machine like an OLED or a better QLED per se, but it's still a very good TV and it's such a low price point that for 349 and a 50 inch, or even 749 for a 75 inch TV, very hard to pass up for the quality that you get. But something that I would definitely recommend to a family or friend looking for a big TV or even a small TV on a budget. And since we're talking about LG, I might as well let you know that this QNED 85 is another one that I was pretty happy with. This is a more expensive LG, so you'd have to decide if you really need that extra brightness. But the 55 inch at $1199, which is $200 savings, is maybe not the best possible deal for this TV when I could talk about the 86 inch version of this TV for $2799. There's where you have an incredible $700 savings. Now, in this range, you have some other TVs to think about like OLED TVs that are similarly priced, which is kind of crazy at the 77 inch range. But again, I'll talk about those in a second. But why I mentioned this QNED mini LED is because I wasn't a huge fan last year of the IPS type panels for the QNEDs. But this year, this QNED 85 seems to be much better with regards to blooming and some of the downsides that I felt were an issue last year. This year, 86 inch QNED 85, pretty solid. $27.99, pretty good price if you're looking for a mini LED TV. Now, if you want my best buy for 55 or 65 inch TVs, they're both on the screen here from Samsung. Very difficult to pass up the Samsung Neo QLED at $13.49 for a 55 inch and the Samsung S95B, the QD OLED for $15.99. Both are really good TVs. I think you'd be happy with either one of them. Let's start with the QLED first since we've been talking about LED and mini LED TVs. Now this is probably my favorite mini LED TV of the year so far. I had, again, the larger version because that's what we do here. We get really big TVs. We had the 85 inch version of this and it's currently $3,000. So very competitive against that LG mini LED we had. And to be honest, I think the Samsung Neo QLED is a little bit better in most ways, except for maybe the operating system, which I wasn't a huge fan this year of the Tizen OS. It's usable and if you have a third party device and you don't really care about that OS, then that's really the main thing that I disliked about this TV. Besides that, it was amazing. You can check out my video on the unboxing for this. We had this TV and many other 85 and 83 inch TVs in the house this year, so check it out. But this is Samsung's second generation mini LED TV. Very minimal blooming, great black levels, contrast, looks very OLED-like, but it's incredibly bright. So if you have a really bright room, you watch bright sports, bright HDR movies, the QN90B is an amazing TV. And you get $2,000 off this 85 inch version. And again, if you go back down to the 55 inch, it's only $1,349, which is a really good price for that sort of TV. If you have a smaller space and you just need a 55 or a 65 inch, this is priced very competitively for how good this TV is. And speaking of 65 and 55 inch TVs, if you really want the absolute best, you're talking about the new QD OLEDs from Samsung Display. And here, this Samsung S95B for $1599 is probably the best deal for a high-end TV, again, in the 65 and 55 inch range, because they don't offer it any larger 
and it is basically the best of both worlds of an OLED, but as bright as some of the QLEDs, and it has a very clean, uniform screen. We had the 65-inch version in the house. The only downside, again, was that the operating system was a little buggy, but I think they're working that out. And as the year has gone on, a lot of people are really happy with this TV and considering it the best gaming TV of the year and maybe the best overall TV of the year, along with the Sony A95K QD OLED, which is very similar to this one, and you can find that here as well. But this Samsung QD OLED is $1,000 less expensive than the Sony in the 65 and 55 inch versions. So you're saving $600 on this 55 inch version. And if you go up to the 65 inch version, you're saving $1,000 off of the initial price. And honestly, at $3,000, it was still a fantastic TV, $1,000 less than the Sony. And now it's $2,000 for probably the best TV that you can get. If you're a Samsung person, no question, get this TV, very happy about it. And I just hope in the future, they have larger sizes available because I feel like QD OLED is really the future of display technology. So big thumbs up to this Samsung QD OLED S95B, and it's probably my best recommendation for a 65 or 55 inch TV. Now, because we are talking about deals, I did wanna bring up a TV that is from last year, but is still one of the absolute best TVs on the market, and I actually have two of them. So if I'm putting my money where my mouth is, I think it's a pretty good TV, and that is the Sony A90J Master Series OLED that you can get a 65 inch version for $24.99. And I just wanna let you know, when I bought this last year, this size TV was $4,000. So you're looking at $1,500 off of where I got it, and currently it sits at $500 off of what they consider the MSRP here. Now this is a little bit more expensive than that Samsung, but if you're a Sony person, if you have a Sony sound system, like the HTA9 that would work better with the Sony, but you don't wanna fork over $4,000 for the QD OLED, you have this Sony A90J that is priced much more competitively. And this is where we can kind of start talking about the larger sizes, because if you go into the 83 inch version of this A90J, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better deal. This TV is $5,000. It was $8,000 when it came out just one year ago. And not much has changed in the OLED world. So I still think this is top one or top two of OLEDs in the 83 inch size. But for $5,000, which is $500 off the $5,500 price tag that they have here, I think this is a fantastic TV. And anyone that can afford the price tag and is looking for this 83 inch size, it is one of the top TVs you could ever want. And I love it. I don't think there was a single downside when I was looking at this TV. It works well in a bright room. It works well in a dark room. It's a very bright TV with great anti-reflective properties. It has a heat sink and pixel shifting for longevity if you're concerned about OLED burn-in. I don't think you have to worry about that. I absolutely love the A90J from Sony, so I would highly recommend that TV. But if we're talking about monster size OLEDs, I'd be hard pressed not to mention that I also like the LG models, both the LG C2 and the G2. Now the difference between these two is that the LG C2 is meant to sit on a stand and it can also be put on the wall. And it has that form factor similar to the Sony A90J where it's a flat screen, but it has some bulk behind it. It's only a couple inches thick, but it's not as clean looking as the G2 on the wall, but it is $1,000 less expensive. So it's a very bright and vibrant OLED panel. It's the second version of the 83 inch for LG. So I really like it. It's basically as bright or brighter as that A90J. It does not have that heat sink. But if you're a gamer and you want, you know, four HDMI ports that have 4K 120 and have all the gaming specs, then you're looking for an LG here. And this LG C2 is probably the most popular OLED, especially in the sizes of 77 and 83 inch. But you can save $500 on this right now, it's five grand. Obviously very expensive, but if you're looking for the 83 inch perfection of OLED, then you're talking about either that A90J from Sony, you have this LG C2, which I highly recommend, and if you go $1,000 higher, then you can get the LG G2, which is a wall-mountable gallery edition OLED TV that's even thinner than the C2 and the A90J. It's less than an inch thick and looks like a picture frame up on the wall. It's a beautiful TV, and what's great about the LG G2 is that it's the brightest OLED of 2022. So if you're talking about the biggest and brightest and the newest OLED that you have to have, this G2 outperforms the A90J 
by a smidgen, but it just depends on if you're an LG person and a gamer, or if you want that cinematic viewing of the Sony A90J. I recommend all three of these because I love OLED TVs. They're fantastic, they're extremely bright, and there's becoming less and less downside to OLED TVs while the prices are also getting better and better. Now, again, this is $6,000, so it's not for everybody, but it is an awesome TV. Now, because those TVs are so expensive, I do want to talk about one that I have not reviewed, but I already know is a great deal, and that is a 77-inch A80K OLED TV from Sony, because that TV is on sale right now for $26.99, which saves you $1,100. And the reason I wanted to bring this one up, even though I haven't reviewed it myself, is because I remember a couple years ago when I started YouTube that these big 77-inch OLED TVs at best were $3,500 around Black Friday. And now you're getting a price of $2,700 for a 77 inch TV, and it's not even that time yet. So we're already $1,000 less than where we were a couple years ago for these giant TVs. And I know that this TV performs very similar to the A80J, which I reviewed multiple times and I had in my house. And I even had the misfortune of dropping one of these TVs and testing its strength. It all came out positive, but really this A80K is a great deal at this price because you're looking at almost twice the price to get an 83 inch version of an OLED. So if you're like, I'm on the fence, I wanna buy an OLED, I'm not gonna be able to swing $5,000 but I could do 2,700 for a 77 inch OLED. This is a great TV and it's a really big size. And I think if you're looking at this or maybe even a 65 inch, go for the 77 inch OLED because that 12 inch difference in size is huge and you'll be very happy that you went with a Sony OLED, $2,700 for an A80K, fantastic deal. And if you're sitting here saying, Brandon, those are still way too expensive. My budget is like half of that amount, like $1,500 max for a 75 inch, then I have two really good options for you. I have a TCL and a Hisense. And I know that TCL and Hisense aren't as recognizable of brands as your Sony, your LG, and your Samsung, but they offer fantastic value. And one of the TVs that people typically rave about is the TCL 6 series. The TCL 6 series is $1499 for a 75 inch. And this is the third generation of mini LED for TCL. So it's a very solid product. And on the other hand, you have the Hisense U8H, which is the first mini LED for Hisense, but it's fantastic. And I've actually had this exact TV in my home and I was pretty impressed with it, especially for watching sports and HDR movies. Fantastic mini LED TV. Now the issue with both of these TVs is that they're not always available. So you can find a 65 inch of one of them and the 75 inch of the other. If I had to choose between the Hisense and the TCL, I'd probably choose the Hisense U8H because I've had it in my house. I really was impressed with its quality for watching sports and movies. Overall, it's a fantastic TV, but both of these links are down in the description below. If you want to click on them, check out those TVs, along with all of the other TVs that I've mentioned today. Definitely click on the links in the description. It really helps the channel out, and I appreciate it. Thanks. I also wanted to take a hot second to let you know that if you aren't already a Best Buy Total Tech member, you definitely should sign up for that. With that membership, you get free Geek Squad tech support available 24 seven. You also get two years of coverage on everything that you buy, which is really awesome because how many products just kind of go bad around a year or just after you know the manufacturer warranty is out? Now you get two full years from Best Buy where they'll fix or replace any of the products that you have purchased while you have an active membership. In addition, you also get free two-day shipping and probably what's best about this besides that extended warranty is that you get 60 days to return or exchange most of the products, which is much better than the 14 days. So if you're not sure about a product, you know, within 14 days, it's a little bit harder to test something and then realize it's not for you, but 60 days, much better. So make sure to check out the Best Buy Total Tech membership in a link in the description below. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Again, the prices were as of this video's filming, so they may vary here or there, but I am very confident that all the price points that I gave you, I would buy those TVs. So if it's there or even better, you're in good shape. I look forward to hearing your guys' comments below. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and set the notification bell to all that, and I will see you on the next video.